U.S. Marines with 3rd Battalion, 2nd Marine Regiment, 2nd Marine Division. Participate in a humanitarian assistance and disaster response exercise. During a Marine Corps combat readiness evaluation at Camp Lejeune, North Carolina, December 8, 2023. Were you a combat? Hey, that front line. Before you let the man ask, like first thing. Sir, what's your name? Me? Yep. Age? 59. Alright, you know me. You don't need him there. You open up your jacket. Do a quick. The Marine Corps Combat Readiness Evaluation involves a range of scenarios and challenges that test the unit's ability to plan, coordinate, and execute complex missions, including offensive and defensive operations, logistics, and communications. You get, okay, all right. Uh, he's not a U.S. citizen, is he? Okay. Okay, all right, what we're going to do, we're going to direct you right here to this brow test. Oh, we're going to get ready, Smitty. Come forward. Oh, but you three did not touch any of them. All right. 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 We need a letter. Uh, Sergeant Morell, Golden Valley, Minnesota. Uh, squad leader for combat engineers, 1371. Uh, Marine Corps Combat Readiness Evaluation, otherwise known as McCree, uh, is basically a big um, field operation uh, that can be done all the way down at a platoon size company, or in this case, a battalion, just to test the individual Marines' abilities to perform their tasks um, and work together with adjacent units. Uh, the importance of McCree is to ensure that all of the training that the Marines have done during the entire workup uh, has been retained and that all that knowledge and information uh, is still fresh in their minds so that when we do get deployed and get put onto a real mission, uh, the Marines aren't confused on what to do and that everything is good to go. Uh, Marines need to be ready to deploy at all times because we don't know what's going to happen anywhere in the world. Um, and We go everywhere. Like we see... Um, stuff just kind of pops up and then Marines are there. Um, so we need to be always ready to fight the fight. Uh, we faced a couple challenges from air inserts to now working with um, local nationals uh, and dealing with them and doing like a humanitarian uh, aid mission. So setting up our entry control point at that end and then organizing the distribution area over here to make sure that they're getting the help they need while also ensuring the safety of our Marines by setting up wire um, and like other kind of wired obstacles down there. Nothing we do in the Marine Corps is easy. Uh, everything comes down to discipline and drilling that into your Marines. If they have discipline, we can do everything that we need to do um, easily. So just hard work and discipline. Uh, this training contributes to the overall warfighting capabilities of 2nd Mardiv because um, we're operating at a battalion level right now and we have other adjacent units around us also from 2nd Mardiv. So being able to integrate with them and work in a larger AO. We've been spread out over 60 miles over the last couple days. So still being able to keep that contact um, and ensure that we're still working together over that distance um, is huge. The McCree contributes to the lethality of a unit 
by ensuring, once again, that all the training that we've done up to this point is still sticking with them. And also, even though we've done all this training during the workup and we're still doing it now, there's still kinks that we need to work out uh, and figure out some things that aren't working, maybe some things that are, start doing those a little more. Uh, and if we have things that aren't working, what can we do to change those to make ourselves better and more of a lethal unit?